What an absolute treat today has been. We've got hyenas everywhere around this hyena den off of Albury's Road. This is a youngster. This is the first time I'm seeing these hyena in months, possibly even more than a year. Last time I remember seeing hyenas, they were off of the den, off of uh, Hippo, Hippo Pools Road, which was, um, ooh. Anyone remember, it was summer, the Tambotis were quite thick, but it was right in the beginning of summer. Probably about a year, maybe a little bit more now. Look at these two greeting each other over here. Hyena, hyena are incredibly social animals. That's what makes them my favorite animals out here. And they're always busy doing something, and usually something quite mischievous. And these two have had quite an elaborate greeting display. Hyenas are ruled by scent, and there's a very clear and well-established hierarchy around these den sites. Most of the hyena you're looking at now will probably be females. There you go. Now, every now and again, one of them walked up to the entrance of the den, and I think that there's younger hyenas inside this den. Make a bit of a noise at the entrance and then and then walk off and I think that there's, if we're lucky, some youngsters might pop out and come and say hello. Now they live in these, they excavate dens in holes in the side of termite mounds. They don't start the den themselves. That is done by an odd fark or uh, an, f and further enlarged by a warthog and then hyena move in and do their own excavations and youngsters will do their own excavations inside the excavations. Look at how he's sitting, cute man. Oh there's the babies, there, 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 there. Behind us. Kaylin, you want to know what the closest there we go. Hello. Hello. Oh cute. fuzzy they are. Kaylin, you want to know what the closest relatives to our hyenas are? Um, in actual fact, bears and um, bears and honey badgers and mongoose are the closest relatives to a hyena. Not necessarily, and cats there, and then before that, dogs, I suppose. Oh, after that, dogs, I suppose. Oh, look at these little guys saying hello. And that's all just a smell me, smell me, no, no, I'll smell you. No, smell me, no, I'll smell you. It's just a big game about smelling. And then who's more dominant than another? And see how he's off, the little guy's offering it. Excited. Hello. Getting very excited there. That was pasting, so you saw that that maneuver, it was just in the excitement that I hinted. There we go, there's a pasting coming out on that grass. You see that anal pouch? Coming out, they wipe that then over the grass. And watch this little hyena smell that now. Smell, 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 smell. Can't get enough of those smells. There is that little, that pasting that they did there is so jam packed full of information. It's like a little mini hard drive full of stuff that, uh, that they can download and smell. By smell, I should say. And it draws a picture in their mind about what it is that. Uh, what it is, what the health and status of that particular hyena is, when it was deposited. Look at all these little guys practicing. Watch this little one now. He's going to try and paste over this one. Oh, he just can't get enough. There you go. Yeah, but your little anal pouch isn't coming out enough. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> these little guys. Young hyena are given literally the rule of the roost. They can do no wrong. As they get slightly older, female hyena of the matriarch, the, the dominant pair, they can do no wrong either, but as they get a little bit, you know, as they get older and older, males become more and more marginalized and, oh, look, he's going to do it again. He just can't get enough, eh? No, the other one's going to do it again. No, 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 your smell can't be stronger than mine. Straw here, do you want to know if their dens cave in, can they dig out? Uh, that's a good question. 
it's quite tough to cave these things in because they're built in in uh, in disused term material. Well, actually, not even disused term material, but term material, and uh, and they dig almost down vertically down. They don't dig, uh, you know. It's, it's quite a strong structure. I mean, I've seen a a, a term mound hollow enough for me to stand in, and it gets hollowed more than it does um, lose its sort of integrity. So, you know. The chance of it of, of it of it um, caving in is there, but small. So will they be able to dig themselves out? Do they have the tools for that? I suppose it depends on how much weight is on top of them. If it's the entire termite mound, then no, I don't think so. Uh, if it's just a small little cave in, then I'm sure they'll be able to dig themselves out. Now they only weigh about, call it 50, 100 pounds, you know, average. So if 300 pounds of dirt falls on them, they won't be able to do anything. little guy precocious and that's usually a sign of a female and of the dominant female the next queen and their titles are hereditary so the matriarch of a clan if she manages to stay the matriarch and she rears a very strong cub that cub is a princess and will be treated with a lot of respect and then as soon as it gets older and and or if the mother has to pass away then it will assume that responsibility. <laughs> it gets so excited when they get smelled. It's like, yeah, you're smelling me. Now I'll smell you a little bit. Now you can see a dangling thing there between the legs and you might be mistaken for that being a penis, but in actual fact, it's, uh, it's, it's a female genitalia that is just enlarged because of massive amounts of testosterone that the females produce and they have this sort of pseudo appendage that comes out and gets engorged with blood and then what are you doing now? I'm going to paste another piece of grass yeah, the little one goes and pastes again over mom you're being very rude you know that's mom's signboard that you're basically graffitiing over look <clears throat> I'm going to smell some more again these are spotted hyena. You get two different kinds of hyena in this country. You get spotted hyena and brown hyena. Ah, we're going to try and we're going to try and uh, relocate the car just to give Senzo a little bit of an easier chair here. He's balancing off the edge of the car, trying to shoot off the back. And in the meantime, why don't you go have a look at the sausage sausage tree pride with James? deeply confused as to why Steph should be balancing on a chair in his car. Anyway, there we have the sausage-free car, uh, sausage-free car. 